Hello, I am Julie, and my channel's name is Dream Create Inspire by Grandma J Bug, aka Julie, or the other way around. Anyways, please, if you haven't already, subscribe, ring the bell, and click on all so that you get notifications when I upload videos such as this or when I go live. Today we are going to read from the Bible the New Living Translation and we are starting the book of Mark as we finished the last chapter of Matthew last time. Let's read about the author. Author is John Mark. Okay. Date that this was written probably between AD 55 and 65. Content. Many passages of scripture speak of Jesus as the exalted Lord, but Mark's gospel presents another side of Jesus as well, his servanthood. Mark was not one of the twelve disciples, but his gospel is traditionally believed to be compiled from the teachings of the apostle Peter. Mark set the pace for his gospel from the very start skipping the details of Jesus' birth and moving straight into his baptism and ministry. Throughout this gospel, Jesus is constantly on the move. Straight into his... Uh, on the move, healing the sick, confronting demons, feeding large crowds, giving to the time to outsiders, and timelessly, tirelessly responding to requests for help and guidance. Mark includes several passages of teaching as well, but these are largely overshadowed by the accounts of Jesus's actions. Mark makes it clear that Jesus is indeed the Son of God. No one else could have done what Jesus did. But Jesus's actions and teachings also point toward a core theme of the book. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve others, and to give his life as a ransom for many. The book comes to a close with Jesus' death and resurrection, thus completing a basic outline of the life of Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm going to read two chapters tonight since I did not read on Monday. So I will read chapter 1 and 2. John the Baptist prepares the way. This is the good news about Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of God. It began just as the prophet Isaiah had written, Look, I am sending a messenger ahead of you, and he will prepare your way. He is a voice shouting in the wilderness, Prepare the way for the Lord's coming. Clear the road for him. This messenger was John the Baptist. He was in the wilderness and preached that people 
should be baptized to show that they had repented of their sins and turned to God to be forgiven. All of Judea, including all the people of Jerusalem, went out to see and hear John. And when they confessed their sins, he baptized them in the Jordan River. His clothes were woven from coarse camel hair, and he wore a leather belt around his waist. For food, he ate locusts and wild honey. John announced, Someone is coming soon who is greater than I am, so much greater that I am not even worthy to stoop down like a slave and untie the straps of his sandals. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Baptism and Temptation of Jesus One day Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and John baptized him in the Jordan River. As Jesus came up out of the water, he saw the heavens splitting apart and the Holy Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice from heaven said, You are my dearly loved son, and you bring me great joy. The Spirit then compelled Jesus to go into the wilderness where he was tempted by Satan for forty days. He was out among the wild animals, and angels took care of him. Later on, after John was arrested, Jesus went into Galilee where he preached God's good news. The time promised by God has come at last, he announced. The kingdom of God is near. Repent of your sins and believe the good news. The first disciples, starting with verse 16. One day, as Jesus was walking along the shore of the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew throwing a net into the water, for they fished for a living. Jesus called out to them, Come, follow me, and I will show you how to fish for people. And they left their nets at once and followed him. A little farther up the shore, Jesus saw Zebedee's sons, James and John, in a boat repairing their nets. He called them at once, and they also followed him. Leaving their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men, Jesus casts out an evil spirit, starting with verse 21. Jesus and his companions went to the town of Capernaum. <coughs> when the Sabbath day came, he went into the synagogue and began to teach. The people were amazed at his teaching, for he taught with real authority. Like, quite unlike the teachers of religious law. Suddenly, a man in the synagogue who was possessed by an evil spirit began shouting, Why are you interfering with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus cut him short. Be quiet, come out of the man. 
he ordered. At that, the evil spirit screamed, threw the man into a convulsion, and then came out of him. Amazement gripped the audience, and they began to discuss what had happened. What sort of new teaching is this? They asked excitedly. It has such authority. Even evil spirits obey his orders. The news about Jesus spread quickly throughout the entire region of Galilee. Jesus heals many people, starting with verse 29. After Jesus left the synagogue with James and John, they, was sent, they went to Simon and Andrew's home. Now Simon's mother-in-law was sick in bed with a high fever. They told Jesus about her right away. So he went to her bedside, took her by the hand and helped her sit up. Then the fever left her and she prepared a meal for them. That evening after sunset many sick and demon-possessed people were brought to Jesus. The whole town gathered at the door to watch. So Jesus healed many people who were sick with various diseases, and he cast out many demons. But because the demons knew who he was, he did not allow them to speak. Jesus preaches in Galilee, starting with verse 35. Before daybreak the next morning, Jesus got up and went out to an isolated place to pray. Later, Simon and the others went out to find him. When they found him, they said, Everyone is looking for you. But Jesus replied, We must go on to other towns as well, and I will preach to them too. That is why I came. So he traveled throughout the region of Galilee, preaching in the synagogues and casting out demons. Jesus heals a man with leprosy, starting with verse 40. Just a second. A man with leprosy came and knelt in front of Jesus, begging to be healed. If you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Moved with compassion, Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said, be healed. Instantly, the leprosy disappeared and the man was healed. Then Jesus sent him on his way with a stern warning. Don't tell anyone about this. Instead, go to the priest and let him examine you. Take along the offering required in the law of Moses for those who have been healed of leprosy. This will be a public testimony that you have been cleansed. And like most of the people that Jesus healed, this is what happened. But the man spread, the man went and spread the word, proclaiming to everyone what had happened. As a result, Large crowds soon surrounded Jesus, and he couldn't publicly enter a town anywhere. He had to stay out in the secluded places. 
but people from everywhere kept coming to him. Now I am going to go on to chapter 2, which would have been the one for today. Jesus heals a paralyzed man, starting with chapter 2, verse 1. When Jesus returned to Capernaum several days later, the news spread quickly that he was back home. Soon the house where he was staying was so packed with visitors that there was no more room, even outside the door. While he was preaching God's word to them, four men arrived carrying a paralyzed man on a mat. They couldn't bring him to Jesus because of the crowd, so they dug a hole through the roof above his head. Then they lowered the man on his mat right down in front of Jesus. Seeing their faith, Jesus said to the paralyzed man, My child, your sins are forgiven. But some of the teachers of religious law who were sitting there thought to themselves, What is he saying? This is blasphemy. Only God can forgive sins. Jesus knew immediately what they were thinking. So he asked them, Why do you question this in your hearts? Is it easier to say to the paralyzed man, Your sins are forgiven, or stand up, pick up your mat, and walk? So I will prove to you that the Son of Man has the authority on earth to forgive sins. Then Jesus turned to the paralyzed man and said, Stand up, pick up your mat, and go home. And the man jumped up, grabbed his mat, and walked out through the stunned onlookers. They were all amazed and praised God, exclaiming, We've never seen anything like this before. Jesus calls Levi, also known as Matthew. Then Jesus went out to the lake shore again and taught the crowds that were coming to him. As he walked along, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at his tax collector's booth. Follow me and be my disciple. Jesus said to him, so Levi got up and followed him. Later, Levi invited Jesus and his disciples to his home as dinner guests along with many tax collectors and other disreputable sinners. There were many people of this kind among Jesus' followers, but when the teachers of the religious law who were Pharisees, saw him eating with tax collectors and other sinners. They asked his disciples, Why does he eat with such scum? When Jesus heard this, he told them, Healthy people don't need a doctor. Six sick people do. I have come to call not those who think they are righteous, but those who know they are sinners. A discussion about fasting, starting with verse 18. Once, when John's disciples and the Pharisees were fasting, some people came to Jesus and asked, why don't your disciples fast like John's disciples and the Pharisees do? Jesus replied, Do wedding guests fast 
while celebrating with the groom or curse of curse of course not they can't fast while the groom is with them but someday the groom will be taken away from them and then they will fast besides who would patch old clothing with new cloth for the new patch would shrink and rip away from the old cloth leaving an even bigger tear than before and no one puts new wine into old wineskins for the wine would burst the wineskins and the wine and the skins would both be lost new wine calls for new wineskins a discussion about the sabbath starting with verse 23 one sabbath day as jesus was walking through some grain fields his disciples began breaking off heads of grain to eat but the pharisees said to jesus look why are they breaking the law by harvesting grain on the sabbath jesus said to them haven't you ever read in the scriptures that David, what David did when he and his companions were hungry, he went into the house of God during the day when Abiathar was high priest and broke the law by eating the sacred loaves of bread that only the priests are allowed to eat. He also gave some to his companions. Then Jesus said to them, The Sabbath was made to meet the needs of people and not people to meet the requirements of the Sabbath. So the Son of Man is Lord even over the Sabbath. Okay, next time we'll read chapter 3. And let me mark where I'm at. And we will move on to singing. Let me get a drink of water real quick. Mm. That water tastes good. Okay. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee, God of glory, God, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before thee, opening to the sun above. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness. Drive the dark of doubt away. Giver of immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day. All thy works with joy surround thee, earth and heaven reflect thy rays stars and angels sing around thee center of unbroken praise field and forest vale and mountain flowery meadow flashing Chanting bird and flowing fountain Call us to rejoice in thee 
Thou art giving and forgiving, ever blessing, ever blessed. Wellspring of the joy of living, ocean depth of happy rest. Thou, our Father, Christ, our brother, all who live in love are thine. Teach us how to love each other. Lift us to the joy divine. Mortals join the mighty chorus which the morning stars began. Love divine is reigning o'er us, binding all within its span. Ever singing, march we onward, Victors in the midst of strife. Joyful music leads us sunward in the triumph song of life. Amen. To God be the glory. No, that's not this one. To God be the glory, great things he hath done. So loved he the world that he gave us his son, who yielded his life an atonement for sin, and opened the life gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. O oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son. And give him the glory, great things he hath done. O oh, perfect sub redemption to the purchase of blood, to every believer the promise of God, the vilest and fender who truly believes that moment from Jesus a pardon receives. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. O oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son, and oh, give him the glory, great things he hath done. Great things he hath taught us, great things he hath done and great our rejoicing through Jesus the Son. But purer and higher and greater will be our wonder, our transport, when Jesus we see. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. 
Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory, great things he hath done. Amen. Many gifts, one spirit. Source and sovereign, rock and cloud. How can we name a love? A mighty fortress is our God. A mighty fortress is our God. A bulwark never failing. Our helper he amid the flood of mortals, mortal ills prevailing. For still our ancient foe does work to does seek to work us woe his craft and power are great and armed with cruel hate on earth is not his equal did we in our own strength confide our striving would be losing were not the right man on our side the man of god's own choosing the prince of darkness grim we tremble not for him his rage we can endure for lo his doom is sure one little word shall fail him that word above all earthly powers no thanks to them abideth the spirit and the gifts are ours through him who with us sideth let goods and kindred go this mortal life also the body they may kill god's truth abideth still his kingdom is forever amen oh yes Amen. Yes. Your love, O oh God. There is a wilderness, God's mercy. God of the sparrow, God of the whale. El Shaddai. Okay. Oh, it was written by Michael Card and John Thompson. But Amy Grant sang it. El Shaddai, El Shaddai, El El Yamna Adonai. Age to age you're still the same by the power of the name. El Shaddai, El Shaddai. 
Er kan kana Adonai, we will praise and lift you high, El Shaddai. Translation is, God Almighty, for El Shaddai, El Eliana is the Most High God, Na Adonai, O Lord, Erkankama, no, Erkanka, we will love you. Yes. Sing praise to God who reigns above. Guide me, O thou great Jehovah. Give to the winds of fears. He leadeth me. O blessed thought. O words with heavenly comfort fraught. Whate'er I do, where'er I go, I mean be, still tis God's hand that leadeth me. He leadeth me, he leadeth me, by his own hand he leadeth me. His faithful follower I would be, for by his hand he leadeth me. Sometimes mid scenes of deepest gloom, sometimes where Eden's bowers bloom. Bowers boom, not sure. By water still, or troubled sea, still tis his hand that leadeth me. He leadeth me, he leadeth me. By his own hand he leadeth me. His faithful follower I would be, for by his hand he leadeth me. Lord, I would place my hand in thine, nor ever murmur nor repine, content whatever lot I see since tis my God that leadeth me. He leadeth me, he leadeth me, by his own hand he leadeth me. His faithful follower I would be, for by his hand he leadeth me. And when my task on earth is done, when by the, thy grace the victory's won, in death's cold wave I will not flee, since God through Jordan leadeth me. He leadeth me, he leadeth me, by his own hand he leadeth me. His faithful follower I would be, for by his hand he leadeth me. Amen to that one. Amen. Hmm. We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. 
He chastens and hastens his will to make known the wicked oppressing now cease from dis cease from from distressing sing praise to his name you know I knew that better at one time Leaning on the everlasting arms. What a fellowship, what a joy divine. Leaning on the everlasting arms. What a blessedness, what a peace de is mine. Leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning, leaning. Safe and secure from all alarms. Leaning, leaning. Leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, how sweet to walk in this pilgrim way. Leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, how bright the path grows from day to day. Leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning, leaning. Safe and secure from all alarms. Leaning, leaning. Leaning on the everlasting arms. What have I to dread? What have I to fear? Leaning on the everlasting arms. I have blessed peace with my Lord to so near. Leaning on the everlasting arms. Leaning, leaning. Safe and secure from all alarms. Leaning, leaning. Leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, yes. I am finding some new songs. Ha. Ah. Lord is my shepherd, I I'll not want. I want to read this because well, the scripture part of this, it goes right here. It's, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Yes. 
I may want to read that again. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Yes. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever wilt be. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto thee, me. Summer and winter and springtime and harvest, sun, moon, and stars in their courses above, join in all nature in manifold witness to thy great faithfulness mercy and love great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness morning by morning new mercies i see all I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Pardon for sin, and a peace that endureth. Thine own dear presence to cheer and to guide, strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. Blessings all mine with ten thousand beside. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Amen. And amen. Now it is time to do my closing songs, the doxology, and Gloria Patry. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy. Ghost. 
Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Yes. No, not calls to worship. I need benediction which is here. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all, both now and forevermore. Thank you for watching. Let me pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you for this day and I thank you, thank you, thank you for who you are. And Lord, I thank you that I am yours. I pray, Lord, that by the reading of your word, you would lead people toward you. And Lord, I thank you for your word, not just the written word, but the human word, Jesus, human God, God-man, Jesus. I thank you so much for him and for what he came here to do. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for coming here and doing what you did in dying on the cross for our sins, for the remission of sin. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you, Holy Spirit, for coming down into my soul. Thank you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, for who you are and for whose I am. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Ring the bell and click on all so that you can get notifications like when I upload a video like this one or when I go live. Good night to you all yeah. and may God bless you.